Hello, happy Ram Navmi to all of you. My name is Sri Ram Ayer, and today on the occasion of Ram Navmi, let us look at ten leadership lessons from Lord Rama. Number one, build a team using the resources at hand. Often, as leaders, we complain about not having enough time, enough budget, enough human resources, and so on and so forth. But look at the life of Lord Rama, who built a team using the famous Monkey Army, which at that time were the resources he had available, and he chose to make the most of it. Number two is a continuation of number one: choose to place your complete trust in the team that you build. So when you do build a team with the resources at hand, don't do so grudgingly. Don't be grumpy about it. Instead, choose to place your complete trust in the team that you have put together, which is exactly what Lord Rama did, and every member of his team knew that they had his complete, willing trust. Number three: live by what you stand for and earn the love of those under you. The people of Ayodhya. Loved their crown prince, Lord Rama. Lord Rama lived by what he stood for. He walked the talk and earned the love of those in his kingdom, which is exactly what leaders of today must also do: walk the talk and earn the love and respect of those that work with you. Number four. Be a source of infinite and unconditional love. Let every action of yours be guided with love, and inspire your followers with that love. Which is also what Lord Rama did. He gave unconditional love and received that same unconditional love back in return. Number five, lead by example. In Lord Rama's case, he was prepared to do the hardest task by himself, while the monkey army and even the great people in that army chose to do a lot of daunting tasks ahead of them. The biggest and the most insurmountable task was to eliminate Ravana. Lord Sri Rama had no hesitation in leading from the front by conquering the seemingly invincible Ravana. All by himself, and thereby showing exemplary leadership. Today's leaders also mustn't hesitate from getting their hands dirty and actually doing some of the toughest tasks. Number six, recognize and look after the little guy. In today's teams and organizations, the leaders at the top tend to be very separated and siloed. From some of the staff members or team members who are at the core face, it is up to the leader to ensure that these team members do not feel invisible. It is their responsibility to recognize their efforts and acknowledge their contribution to the team, much like what Lord Rama did very famously for the little squirrel, who did its little job in building the bridge of rocks. On water, number seven, instill belief in the team to achieve the impossible. Often, team members look at the task ahead and decide whether it's possible or impossible. It is up to the leader to instill in them a belief that anything is possible. Only when this belief is rock solid. Will the team behave in a way that is aligned with that belief, and will they get the desired outcomes? Initially, the monkey army thought it was impossible to build a bridge of rocks on water, but it was the belief that their leader instilled in them that it was possible. Something today's leaders must look to do. Number eight: Be willing to sacrifice personal interests to uphold. The right values. For Lord Drama, his father's instructions were meant to be obeyed and not questioned, and those were part of his value system. And he did so unflinchingly and unquestioningly. 
for a young crown prince, recently married, to accept his father's instruction to spend the next 14 years in exile in a forest. Without any hesitation, shows total commitment to his own values. Again, a lesson there for all leaders. If you value something, then be uncompromising about it. Number 9. Care equally for both people and for getting tasks done. Today's leaders either seem to be skewed towards task completion or towards how their team members, the people, feel. As a result, we end up with high-performing but highly disengaged teams or very happy but underperforming teams. Lord Rama showed that you must care equally for both people and tasks. And number 10. Focus on the greater good and the development of other leaders. As part of his journey to find Goddess Sita, Lord Rama conquered many kingdoms, but never sought to rule. Instead, he placed the best person suited for the role on the throne. And in doing so, he had prepared future leaders. And this was succession planning at its very best. So today's leaders must avoid being greedy and help nurture leaders of tomorrow. I hope you found these 10 leadership lessons from Lord Rama useful. Once again, happy Ram Navami. May you stay blessed and lead like Lord Rama.